welcome to Managing Asia. I'm Christine Tan. My guest today has been on a major shopping spree, buying into commercial properties along Singapore's prime shopping belt and paying billions of dollars for power plants here in the region, all adding to his sprawling empire. He's Malaysian tycoon Francis Yeo. When there's an economic downturn, Francis Yeo goes shopping. With some $3 billion in his war chest, YTL's chief says it's the best time to hunt for bargains. He has been splurging on big ticket items in Singapore, spending $2.5 billion US dollars on energy company Power Soraya and paying $195 million on a 26% stake in Macquarie Prime REIT. Renamed Star Hill Global REIT, it owns a big chunk of Wisma Atria and Neon City shopping malls along Orchard Road. A street, a prime street, a prime property does not have a discount. They always have a premium. This is one time in history where there's a 50% uh, below its value. So, of course, it's a great opportunity for me. The Cash Rich Group is also building luxury waterfront villas at its Sandy Island and Kassara developments on Singapore's Sentosa Cove, all adding to an already sprawling empire that spans Asia to Europe. Yo has been the engineer behind YTL's expanding fortunes. Since he took over the family business, he has steered the company into utilities, property, hotels, cement and IT, creating one of Malaysia's biggest conglomerates. We listed in 1986. And if you have bought 1 million US worth of share with me in 1986, you'd be worth 150 million US dollars today. And there are many people who are with me. Yeo's big break came when he ventured into power generation in 1992. By growing his stable of power and water assets, YTL has become a force in utilities in Southeast Asia. I've always wanted business models that are sustainable very long term. Because I was brought up in the construction business, it's very short term in nature and I hated that. I hated the cycles of boom bust and looking always, but God bless, I'm not lucky. I mean, I was blessed to be able to, to be given stewardship of this kind of utility business. Over the years, Yo has turned his acquisition strategy into a science, buying distressed assets in a downturn. After the Asian crisis, he snapped up prime properties in Kuala Lumpur and Wessex Water in the UK. There'll be all these boom bust cycles, no matter what you do. So I'm just prepared for the reality and being pragmatic about it. So we follow the biblical Josephine grain principles, keep some cash, all this for uh, uh, rainy weather, and it always comes. But the tycoon has only managed to pick up two assets during this global downturn, Star Hill Global REIT and Power Soraya. You would have thought that this is a low-hanging fruit because this was one of the greatest implosions of the world economic order. We were that close at the edge of an economic Armageddon. And you would have thought that not only would I pick low-hanging fruits, I would pick it from the ground, a lot would have dropped. But again, you see, sometimes the cycles when they are uh, intervened by the government, bailouts and, and all this quantitative easing, then you don't force banks and uh, entrepreneurs to, to be punished. So they don't take haircuts and they... So not much deals were done actually during this period. But he expects more acquisitions to come. We are quite frustrated that the real economy is not allowed to, to, to manifest itself. So I suspect maybe within a year, uh, Christine, that uh, more opportunities will come. You just can't hold on like that. People are beginning to think that, uh, whoa, you know, because of this quantitative easing and the government bailout, the cost of money will be cheap forever. It will not, Christine, it will not. It will come and haunt. Uh, another bubble is being created today, so we have to be quite careful. Today, YTL has businesses in cement, construction, property, investment, utilities, information technology, hotels. If you had the opportunity, what assets would you like to add to your portfolio? I love boring utilities with exciting returns. That's consistent. Water, power, uh, transportation businesses, yes, I'm interested because we did the fast train from the airport to the city. I like cement because it's a growth area, properties. I think the whole Southeast Asia is like the Caribbean and Mediterranean of the East. Surely it will happen. Surely the prices will move up 5,000% over the next 25 years. That's simple. We are geographically quite well positioned in Indonesia, Australia, China. So we have global footprints, 
but Asia-centric. Okay, speaking of Asia-centric, most of your acquisitions are based here in Asia, with the exception of Wessex Water in the yeah, UK. Yeah. Any plans to look further afield, say, in the US? Um, US is interesting if the US dollar implodes. And uh, if US dollar goes down a lot, which it should. It is going down already. Uh, but not as much as it should. If the US dollar, for example, the Aussie dollar has gone up very quickly from 60 cents to 90 cents. So at that time, I was telling my army, go and come and buy things in Australia. And you see, it's just those, just few months, six months, and it, it went up. Uh, from 60 cents to 90 cents to the US dollar. So how much would the US dollar have to fall for you to say, go and look? The US dollar cannot sustain itself today at this level with the uh, quantitative easing. So something has to play up. Unless you can buy that asset, taking into account this exchange rate uh, 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 implosion in the future. So it's that kind of uh, matrix that you have to take care of when you are uh, looking at the US. And speaking of currencies, the, the pound is also looking rather weak. That's right. Is the UK a good hunting ground yes, for another acquisition? Yes, the UK acquisition? is a familiar hunting ground. So for us, uh, the regulatory framework is very familiar with us. And uh, we are looking at UK very, uh, the, the level of the pound is uh, exciting. What are you looking to buy in the UK? More utilities, more power uh, uh, assets properties, all these uh, shopping centers, these are things that we can, we, we can be good at.